Hi, if you're new to my channel, I am Lori and you're watching. Hi, everybody. I'm sorry I didn't vlog yesterday at all. I just didn't really start reading until late in the evening, like always. So, uh, yeah, but I did finish the last book in the uh, year one trilogy by Nora Roberts. This one was also a 4.5, but I gave it a 4 only on Goodreads. But was, for me personally, it was like more of a 4.5, but a lower part of a 4.5. So, yeah. So the first one, boy, it's been a long time. And if I had the book by me, I would show it to you, but I don't have it by me. But the first one was my favorite. It, um got a five stars for me. The last two both got a 4.5, but a four on Goodreads, so. They were still really good, but um, they're just that the first book, more of the characters I liked more in the first book. I mean, I still liked a lot of the characters in this book and the other two book stories as well. But without spoiling too much, because, yeah. I don't want to spoil it anything really so just skip until I put this book down if you don't want to if you plan on reading this and you don't want to know but the okay so the first book has um Lainey, Max, Freddy, um Ar Arliss um and some other got characters while the next, the other two are the chosen one, which is um, Fallon, which is um, um, Lainey's daughter, Lainey and Max's daughter. So, yeah. So this, the second one was about her finding, you know, like training be to become the one. And yeah, and setting up things for this last book and this one was like finishing getting everything set up and you know closing everything out so I liked I was just more connected to the characters from the first book to me it was just they were a little bit better I love the main the main girl the main guy guy Valen and um Duncan I really love them don't get me wrong, but I just like the first book. I liked, like, because the first book is, you know, setting up everything of why she becomes the chosen one. Or why she's the one, basically. And, yeah, so things like that. So, I just connected to those characters more because you found out, like, what caused this to happen. And things that, that, hap that have to happen in that first book for you will know about... I mean, before you can find out what the other two books are about. So just be aware of that, if that makes any sense. But I still really enjoyed it. Really enjoyed the series. So um, I decided I'm not going to do Becca's Monop Monopoly. Just because I'm kind of like in a, one of those moods. I am still going to do the um, three-month challenge one. I have to go through the books that I currently read and tell you guys what I've read for that. Um, I was going to do a vlog, but then I decided not to. So I'm just going to, like, if it's a book that falls into, fall into, I think it's, fall into book, no. I forget what the, t what the three month challenge is called. But um, yeah, I I'll let you know. I'll be back. Okay, sorry about that. Someone was calling for my husband, but he's not home. So, yeah. But, yeah, so definitely, definitely still recommend, like I was saying. I know I already said this before, but I just wanted to make sure you know I do recommend the series. Um, yeah, so once I know which ones were for um, the three-month one so far, I will let you guys know. Um... This one, I'm still trying to finish Crown of Midnight. I know I started it last month, but I really want to get done with this because I want to start Air of Fire soon. 
Um, I did just read a little bit more and I'm on 302. So there's that. So good, this series. I know a lot of people don't like her writing or to, or think that she um, is not, um, you know, the best author. But, oh my gosh, I just love her world. And I know a lot of people prefer a Court of Throne and a Court of Thorn and Roses series. But I prefer this series. I know. I'm always the oddball. Just like with um, Priority of the Orange Tree. Everybody seems to love that book. By Shannon, Shannon, what's her name? I forget what her name, what her name is. But anyways, yeah, um, everybody seems to like, like that book. And I'm like, yeah, it's okay. It wasn't my favorite book, but it wasn't the worst book. It was just average to me. Court of Throne and Roses series. My favorite was the second one. I always forget the titles. And this one, I just love the whole series. Like, some are better than others, but uh, I think I just connect with these characters a lot more than I do with um, A Court of Throne and Roses ones. Don't get me wrong. I love a lot of the characters in A Court of Throne and Roses. But this world and stuff that goes down in this world, I just, yeah. I'm just more so much invested in this series. I think it's because, you know, there were so many in this series. There was like, what, seven? There were six plus cows? Or five plus cows? I always forget. But I think it was seven altogether. Maybe eight. There was Assassin's Blade, Throne of Glass, Crown of Midnight, Air of Fire, Queen of Shadows, Empire, Something of Shadow. Wait, what's the other one? Huh. Let me see if I can find it. Empire of Storms. Um, Cows. And the king, the uh, Kingdom of Ash. So, yeah. So. I was with those characters for so long. And this was my first. I don't know. Is there something about like like series that I start with not all the time but most of the times when there's a series that I start with and then they branch on to other branch off to other series I'm more invested in the first one not always but a lot of times but Crown of Midnight oh my gosh especially my Dorian I mean not Crown of Midnight <laughs> throwing a glass series like this story this series just like guts me Guts me. <laughs> so, yeah. But I love it. I love it so much. And I love Air of Fire. Air of Fire is probably one of my favorites. That one and Queen of Shadows and the last one. Kingdom of Ash. Those three are my absolute favorite. I didn't really care for... I think my least favorite was probably... Um, um, this one and... Um, Empire Storms. Those are probably my least favorite. And, of course, Cows. But yeah. Empire. But this one, I like better this time around than I did the first time I read it. So, yeah. Uh, yeah. I should be done with this either today or tomorrow. And then um, I got... Um, I think I'm going to try to read Nevermore. I know that is for... Um, the three month challenge one. I know um, the JD Rob one that I just got done reading. Rob or Rob. I always forget how you say it. I know that one was one of the prompts for the three month challenge. I'm trying to remember. I think both uh, of Blood and Bone and The Rise of the Magics. I think both of those might have been for that as well. So most of the books I've read have been for the, I mean, for the three month challenge one. Which is good, because I think, besides this one, so that's one, two, I'm trying to think, I don't think what you call it was either, though, um, the second book I finished this month, why I always forget the name, Set Fire to the Gods, that was not one either, so, so three books, I think three books, let me see, one, two, yeah, three books were for, um, so far were for that, tw for that three month challenge, and that's for, um, 20... That's 24 books that I have to read. 
And I've read, what did I say, three? So, yeah. So, hopefully next month I will get a large, a large chunk of it out. We will see. I don't know. Because, you know, it's Halloween month. So, I'm going to be doing a lot of, like, mysteries and thrillers and, yeah, things like that. So, look forward to that next month. Tomorrow or Friday, I can't remember which day. One of those two days will be announcing our Halloween readathon that we're doing the whole month of um, October. So, yeah. But, yeah, I'm going to get back to doing other things. I know this is a long in in intro, how we say that word. But, yeah, I'll talk to you guys all when I've read more. I'll probably check in with you again if I finish this tonight. Or if I start another book and get pretty far in the other book. But a lot of these books that I'm trying to finish right now, I'm in the middle of. So, yeah. But I'll let you guys go, like I said, and I will jibber-jab with you guys all later. Hi, everybody. So, I haven't read any more in Crown of Midnight because I'm starting a buddy read with my friend Brendan and... Um, Drew and my girl Ashley, BookBabe88. We are all doing um, Grown by Tiffany B. D. I always want to say B instead of D. Tiffany D. Jackson. I just started. I'm not like we're supposed to read like today. We're supposed to stop at page 75, I believe it is. I'll show you in a second. Yeah, 75. So, and I'm on page 38. And this is about this girl. She um, she falls in love and starts dating an older man. I think he's 28 and she's 17. Maybe? Yeah, I think. And this ain't a spoiler because it tells you and it also starts at the very beginning. When she first wakes up, she's covered in blood and everything. And at first, she thinks it's beet juice. I guess she must have been eating beets. I don't know. I don't know. But anyway, she, it starts with that, like where she thinks that she has beet juice all over her and it's all over everything. And she's worried that, that he's going to, like, go off on her and stuff because it's abusive relationship. And then... She sees his body and stuff. And it ended where um, she, um, where the cops were getting ready to break down the door. And then it goes to before she meets them and so on. So, yeah. But we're trying to find out, did she really kill him? Or what? There are trigger warnings. It ain't spoilers because the author puts it right here. So, I'll give it to you what she says. Content warning. Mentions of sexual abuse, rape, assault, child abuse, kidnapping, and addiction to, I don't know how to say this word, O-P-I-O-I-D-S. I don't know how to say that word, but yeah. But so far, it's pretty interesting. Speaking of my friend, Brendan. Or Brandon. <laughs> I don't know why I'm saying Brendan. It's Brandon. He has a book out that came out yesterday, I believe it was. And it's a book of poetry. little book of poetry that I got. Midnight and Daydreams by Brandon Eugene. A collection of poems. I actually start a little bit of this. It's interesting so far. Very dark, but it even says right here, um, I'll show you a thing. It says, please note that some of these poems are dark. And it says, thanks, it's signed, it says, thanks, Lori's book trials. And then signed by him, of course. Yeah. And there's a bookmark, like the cover. And it says, if I can read it, cause it's kind of dark in here. I saw the glass shatter. I saw her throw all of her stuff out the broken window. I screamed and yelled for help. I finally, finally I heard someone running. It was too late. She jumped. 
And the other one says, I've always thought of your, I always thought of painting like life. You always start with a blank canvas, but the more you live, the more you see. So that's what they say on there. I don't know if you could read it. But yeah, so we're, so he's also buddy reading this with us, which is pretty cool. So, um, yeah, it's very short, but it's already very, um, what'd you call it? And it, the, um, his, um, dedication to his dad. Oh my God. I almost started crying because, you know, I was always real close to my dad. I was a daddy's girl. And of course he passed away like when I was 25, I think 24, 25. I couldn't imagine being, I think Brandon's like 13. I couldn't imagine, like, losing my dad that young. At least I had him, you know, for 24, 25 years. You know? I, I Yeah, we were... That's my dad. Oh, gosh, I love my dad so much. But, yeah, his dedication is to his dad. So it's really sad. It says, On August 1st, I lost my hero. My sadness will never go down to zero. You are in my thoughts all night and day. I wish you never would have gone away. I love and miss you. I don't know how to say his sister's name. Azilia? Azilla? It's A-Z-A-L-E-A. -A -E -A, and mom do too. To me, you will always be the best. To have you as my dad, I'm truly blessed. Even though you are no longer here. See, I'm starting to tear up again. I know when we speak, you can hear. We will love you forever. We won't forget you ever. Death may keep us apart, but you will always be in our hearts. So, that's really pretty. Yeah, that just tears me up. Because, like I said, I was always really close to my dad. So, you know, he's been dead for, let's see, Robin's 23. So, he's been dead for, like, 24, 25 years. And it's still hard, like, if there are dedications to, like, like this. Where there's a dedication to the dad that passed away. Or, you know, or if it's a scene in a book where a, pa a father passes away. Everything like that still hurts, you know? So, but I thought that was very beautiful. And I'm, even though the poems are very dark so far, they're really interesting. Like this one. I'll read you the first one. I don't want to read it all in case. I don't want to read this whole thing to you in case anybody wants to buy it. But it says, the first one is called Nightmares. I awoke in cold sweat. The nightmares had began. I can still feel the pain in my stomach where the knife impelled me. I can still feel the blood on my hands from where I covered the wound. I can still hear his breathing and how it got heavier and heavier. I can still hear his footsteps from when he ran away. I can still see the glint, glint from the knife or something like that. I can still see his cold, dead eyes. That was the first one. Hi, Ro, Ro. They haven't seen you in a long time. Say hi to everybody. Rowan, say hi to everybody. Say hi. They only can see your ears. Yeah, dork. There. There you guys. There's a little bit of them. <laughs> He's being a dork and won't come. <laughs> but yeah. Definitely check him out. Here, if you can read that, there's all his social media stuff. And I'm going to try to find his channel, and I'll link it. If I remember, you guys know me. I'm so bad about linking. But otherwise, yeah, otherwise you can find them on these. So, yeah. But, yeah, definitely check it out if you haven't already. Yeah. All right. I'm going to let you guys go, and I will talk to you guys all later. Bye for now. Hi everybody. So I read my pages for today in Grown. I just love this cover. I like how how her profile is. I love that profile. I love the big hoop earrings. I could never wear those when I had my ears pierced because my neck, like even like having like like something light on my neck hurts it, especially the back. So if I tried to wear the earrings, it'd probably really hurt my body. <laughs> I know, it's awful, isn't it? Yeah. But anyway, so far, interesting. 
He's already given me like creepy vibes, just certain things he says, certain things he does. The main, the guy that she's with, his name is Corey. So yeah. But yeah, um, you could already like get these vibes that he's given about, I mean, to me. In regards to enchantment, enchant, en en enchanted, is that how you say your name? Enchanted, I think it is. <laughs> in, yeah, enchanted. He's already given me like some creepy vibes. Like, like he gave her his phone number and like told her not to tell anybody that she has his phone number. And just little things that he does just seems like warning signs. So, yeah. But it's interesting so far. Yep. So tomorrow when I read, I am supposed to go to page. I'll tell you guys as soon as I find it. I think it's like 139 or something like that. 139. Oh, wait, no, 149, I believe. I just went past it. Yeah. 149, so... Yep. So that many pages tomorrow. But yeah. So I will update you guys about this one tomorrow when I read my parts. Um, I'm going to try and finish this tonight. Because I think I'm on 312 and there's 417 or 18 pages. There's Hmm. Yeah, 418 pages, so, got 105, 505, 106, something like that, so yeah, so we will see if that happens, because I'm getting tired, but yeah, I just wanted to update you guys, and I will update you if I finish this, otherwise I'll update you tomorrow when I do finish it, okay, bye for now. Hi everybody, I just wanted to update you, I finished it, Crown of Midnight, so with this I finished five books, yay! And three, like, in the last week, I think. Four in the last week. Like, since last week. Like, the end of last week, I think. I read, like, three or four books. <laughs> Before that, I only had one book finished. <laughs> so, finally, I'm getting back into it again. But, yeah. Done. I actually liked this a lot better this time around. I think I gave it, like, a 4.5. 4.25, 4 4.5. Something like that last time. And now it's like a five. Yeah, it was really good. Like, uh, usually I'm like that with books, though. Either I, the first, if I don't like it as much the first time, and if I reread it, maybe. Sometimes I'll like it more, and then sometimes I'll like it more the first time and not as much the second time. It just depends on the book. This one was one of those books that, now that I remember, I mean, I know certain things. I mean, now that I know what happened throughout the series... It's kind of more fun because now you're like, I shouldn't realize that the first time I read the book. You know? Stuff like that. So it was really fun. So I really enjoyed it. Five stars. Yay! I've, I've had, let's see, I've read five books. Three were four stars and two were five stars. This one and um, my J.D. Rope. Yeah. Uh, Shadows and Death. We're both five stars. So, yeah. I'm happy. Now, I gotta decide what the next full book I'm gonna read. Because I'm reading, you guys know, as you guys saw me talk about it already. I'm buddy reading Grown. So, I have that one. But I need another one that I'm reading when, um, not when I'm done with the Grown pages. So, I'm thinking about either reading the next one which is Air Fire, or maybe reading Crescent City. But Crescent City, I kind of want to, like, like make it last. Like, I don't want to, like, rush, like, finish it too quick. But then again, this one, I don't want to, I mean, the next one, Air Fire, I don't really want to, like, um, go too crazy with. So I don't know. But I'm not in the mood for um, um, An Ember in the Ashes or Nevermore or From Blood, from from Ash, from Blood and Ash. I'm not in the mood for those. Like, I'm just in a mood for 
Sarah J. Mass. Or maybe I'll even read, um, uh, gosh, why do I always forget the name of it? A Court of Throne and Roses, yeah. That's the only one I have, though, A Court of Throne and Roses. I might, when we get paid, I might see how much it would be to get um, the last two in the Court of Throne and Roses series. Yeah, because I want to annotate it and have a good old time, so maybe I'll do that when we get paid, if we get paid tomorrow night or, or, if, or when we get paid Friday, whichever day. I might get both of, order both of them. In like one month, just read them back to back. But yeah, I'll let you guys know what my full one's gonna be once I know. But this is the end of this vlog. Since it's pretty long, <laughs> my arm does that. It likes to, likes to pop once in a while. My son made me some tea before he went to bed, so that's good. But yeah, um, I will do another reading vlog tomorrow. All right, I'll talk to you guys all tomorrow.